Hey everyone, it's Mr. Veve, and this lesson is on body systems. So let's get right into it with our first key concept. There are five main levels of organization in the human body. So we need to understand these before we can actually understand all of the 11 systems. So let's look at these organization levels. We have cell, tissue, organ, organ system, and organism. So if we look at these in a little bit more detail, we have first cells. So when a sperm and egg meet, you create a zygote, and these zygotes are full of stem cells that can become any type of cell um, they so choose. And that depends on a couple of uh, processes. One is called determination, which is when that cell figures out what type of cell it's going to be, muscle cell, nerve cell, etc. And then differentiation, when that cell specializes in its structure and function. Now you get a whole bunch of these specialized cells working together, and they perform a specialized function, and this is called a tissue. So a bunch of cells together create a tissue like you see in the picture right here. Now, there are four main types of tissue that we need to understand. First is epithelial tissue, and this is what lines the surface of our body and certain uh, linings of the in interior parts of our body. And then we have muscle tissue, which is all those uh, muscle fibers that contract. And then there's nervous tissue, which is brain, nerves, and all that. And then there's connective tissue, which includes things like cartilage and bone. Now, if you get a whole bunch of tissues together that work together for a spe specific purpose, you make an organ like a liver or heart or lungs. And when you get a bunch of those organs together, you make an organ system like the circulatory system or the respiratory system. So that's when two or more organs are working together for a, a common goal. Now you put a whole bunch of organ systems together and then you get an organism. That's the highest level of organization that you have. So now we have our second key concept. The 11 body systems work together to maintain homeostasis. So we're gonna go through these 11 body systems pretty quickly to tell you what the main organs are and what the functions are of each of them. So here we go. Here are the 11 of them, A through K listed here, muscular, skeletal, nervous, and we're gonna go through each one of these in a little bit of detail. So first, the muscular system. This is your skeletal muscle, which is the stuff that you contract, biceps, triceps, um, smooth muscle, which is involuntary muscles, uh, like in your digestive tract, and then cardiac muscle, which is specific to your heart. Uh, what does this do? This helps you move and helps uh, substances move throughout your body as well. So in the skeletal system is when you have bones, cartilage, ligaments, and these are things that help protect and support and move your body. Next is the nervous system, which is made up of your brain, spinal cord, and nerves, and this is does all the jobs of coordinating actions and transmitting signals to the body. Next we have the endocrine system, which is all of the glands and reproductive organs. This specific purpose here is for secreting hormones that act on target tissues. So uh, some hormones that it secretes are things like oxytocin, which is a protein-like uh, hormone, melatonin, which uh, helps uh, regulate sleep cycle, and then cortisol, which is the stress hormone, and it looks much like a lipid. So just a few examples of those hormones. There's a lot more uh, that we can look at as far as hormones go. Next is the circulatory system, which is the heart, arteries, veins, capillaries, and blood. That's the heart pumping your blood through all this network of veins and arteries and capillaries to deliver oxygen and nutrients throughout the entire body. Uh, next is the integumentary system. This is your skin, hair, nails, uh, oil and sweat glands, and this helps uh, maintain homeostasis and forms that protective covering over your body. And it's actually the skin is the largest organ in the body. Uh, next we have the immune system. These are lymph nodes, the thymus, uh, bone marrow, spleen, white blood cells. This is the system that protects your body and fights off all the infections and pathogens. That's things that can infect your body and make you sick. So your immune system is very, very helpful with that. Then is your respiratory system which includes your lungs, your nose and mouth, which you breathe through, and the alveoli, which are the tiny sacs within your lungs that uh, hold um, air and do a gas exchange. So that's the main function of the respiratory system, which is to exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide. Breathe in oxygen, breathe out carbon dioxide. And also, one of the things about the respiratory system uh, that is interesting is when you breathe in and breathe out, you have these things called antagonistic muscles. That means when certain ones uh, contract, other ones relax. So if you look at breathing in, you have uh, your chest expanding, okay, and then your diaphragm is contracting, which means those intercostal muscles between your ribs are actually relaxing. And when you breathe out, the diaphragm relaxes, 
and the chest contracts, meaning those intercostal muscles are contracting. All right. So next is the digestive system, mouth, esophagus, stomach, intestines, liver. This is the thing that breaks down all your food into different nutrients that you can be used by the cells. So you eat food and you have enzymes that break everything down. The food moves through your system and then comes out. So speaking of coming out here, we have the excretory system. This is skin, lungs, kidneys, bladder. The job of this system is to eliminate all of the waste from your body. So in the form of feces or urine or anything like that. And then finally, we have the reproductive system. So the main tissues here are different for male and female. In females, we have ovaries, we have the uterus and vagina. And males, we have testes, penis, and vas deferens. So the function of this is to produce gametes, which we already know about, and these combine during sexual reproduction to make offspring. So you can see there's a lot of different systems that our bodies use in order to make us function as a wonderful living organism.